Good morning, my dear followers. I hope you're all doing well. I will be today, as I have said yesterday, I'll be talking about this new trend going on where pilots online tell us that it is not important to be good at math, English, physics in order to become a pilot. So I will just bring another point of view and uh, it's with a lot of respect that I do it. It's not one person, it's many persons, many people have have uh, said that and spread that recently and I've seen it a lot. That's why I decided just to talk about it. And I'm doing it with respect so it's not against anyone. If you agree with me, great. If you don't, it's fine. Just Just be respectful and I accept it. Uh, so the thing is, I don't agree uh, with this idea on, 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 I'd say, on two two different dimensions on, on on the form, on the form of it, and on the substance uh, of it, on the content. I absolutely don't agree with it, and let me tell you why. So first of all, on the form, when you are telling people you don't need to be good at math to become a pilot, you are actually without thinking telling them it's fine. You can be bad. You cannot know anything. You can have been behind everyone else at school, but you can become a pilot. This is what I hear. And this is what many people and many pilots heard as well, which we exchange and we talk. And this is how I, I decided to, to, to talk, of, of course, about it. So this is person, personally what I hear. And it's, it, to me, it shows no respect to this beautiful industry. It is amazing. I mean, the airplanes, it's, it's just something else. It's a... An, an aircraft is an incredible piece of engineering. It's a miracle flying. And it's all based on mathematics. It's all mathematics from the beginning till the end. It is all mathematics, how they've done it, how they've built it. And then all the systems and so it's all mathematics. So still on the form, have you ever heard a doctor, a medical doctor telling you, listen, son, you don't need to be good in science. You don't need to be good in biology. You don't need to be good in human cells. You don't need to know them, actually, to become a doctor. Just pay $100,000 and you'll become a doctor. Have you ever heard a lawyer telling you you don't need to be good in public law? You don't need to be good in penal laws. You don't need to, to know constitutional laws. You don't need to know anything about, about laws in order to become a lawyer. Just pay $75,000 and you'll be there. No, look, seriously spreading that spreading that although i understand what they mean although i understand what they mean i'll tell you after but spreading that is just is just chaotic it is the end of education what are we trying to tell the 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 teenagers the young people at school to stop studying don't worry look at the pilots online they're amazing they're living their lives they have Bentleys, Maseratis, they are on holiday every day. It's amazing and you don't need to do anything. Don't worry. Just go there, pay. Daddy, mommy will pay $100,000 and he'll, he'll be fine. He'll be there. Well, first of all, it is not true. At least it is not completely true. And on top of that, it is, it is, it is, it is, it's a destruction of everything. Seriously, seriously, we must think of that. That's just, I'm saying on the form, just on the form. Why are we telling people that our, our industry, our work makes no sense? It's like nothing. Just go, we are, so basically a monkey can do it. A monkey can go and press, a, there is, he presses on one, takes off. Presses on two, if there is an emergency, it will deal with it. And you press the third button and uh, there you will land the aircraft safely and then reach the gate. No, 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 no. It is not about this at all. We must seriously show respect to this industry and, 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 and love what we're doing. I mean, for, for me, it's, I would not like what I'm doing if, if, I, if I talk like this. It's just not normal to me, to me again. So now we, we spoke about the form, but let me talk to you about the substance, about the content. And this is very, very dangerous. And you'll see how it leads us to something that is that we are living today, unfortunately. But it seems to me that these days are, are, are dark days, you know, <laughs> it's very strange. So um, have, you, have you ever heard of, 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 uh, of uh, the core competencies? Any instructor that will teach you, an examiner that will uh, that will grade you, basically as a pilot, will use nine core competencies in aviation. I will I will read them to you: situational awareness, leadership and teamwork, effective communication, workload management, problem solving and decision making, knowledge, application of procedure, automation control, manual control. Out of the nine, out of the nine core competencies that I've just mentioned. 
only one is about manual control. So one out of nine, approximately 11, 12 percent. All right. So 12 percent of your job as a pilot is manual control. Do you need math to do manual control? Oh, obviously not. I mean, you're just flying an airplane, following FDs. It looks good. Yes. How does that system work? What's behind it? What are all the protections? What do you have? What's behind? What's in front? What, how to manage this aircraft? What we do is aircraft is, is, is flight management. We do flight management. So yes, in fact, you don't need, even in a pilot school, to know much of math in order to, do, to go up, down, um, bank angle, right, left. You don't need to do that, some rule. Uh, you don't need to, to, to know math, obviously. But, but, but this is not flying. This is having fun. Yeah, you are having fun. You are having fun. But flying is not that. Flying an airline aircraft in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an airline, in an airline, in a company, is not about that. No one tell you, man, I've rarely seen this, huh? I've rarely seen this. Think a guy, oh my, you, you, you follow the FD so well, especially Airbus. I mean, uh, it's 11 percent, 11, 12 percent, the manual control in, in, uh, in, in an Airbus. But in a Boeing, the guys they give a little bit more. Huh? They, they, they work on it a little bit more. I've tried it, so I know. And it's, it's a bit more difficult, but it, what, 20, 25 percent? Maybe that's the maximum. And these, these rates are, are actually decreasing today with the improvement and the new technologies. In, so you, you're not you're not you're not just a you're, you're not sorry you're not a monkey flying you're a monkey could do that could push button could turn right and left you're not that you are there to think you are the ai of the aircraft this is what you are as a pilot look when it comes to aviation uh, i'm more of a conservative to be honest I'm, I'm not really a democrat when it comes to aviation on other things i could be but not on aviation um i, I think i think we should go Students should go through the normal recruitment process. You know, before, before pilot schools, pilot, actually not pilot schools, sorry, companies used to go, used to go to, 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 to universities and find the best in math and so on to get him to become a pilot, you know. And of course, it will go through the process and, and through everything, through exams and so on to see who can really become a pilot and they will pay everything for him. Today, it is the opposite. Anyone could come, anyone can come and, and just pay money and become a pilot. But that's not normal because for me, the whole, the whole study, the whole mathematics, physics and so on, just before even ATPL, all that will give you just a good rational way of thinking. You are able to work very fast and learn very fast. This is why you do mathematics. It's, 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 and, and not, I don't know, something else like drawing and I respect everything, but it's, it's not about that. It's really about, about processing information very fast. And, and during ATPL, you guys, you guys have seen it. You have so much to learn and so much to understand. And sometimes you don't even understand it. Let me tell you something. Do we online apply what we have learned during ATPL? No, seriously, not really. I mean, a very small percentage very small percentage but we have done it why it's a selection it's a selection it's a filter you need to go through it you need to learn that you need to see it you need to 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 to, to follow these steps well today anyone can become a pilot he'll say okay but i really want to become a pilot if i'm not good in at math what do i do i'll do something else just do something else try something else you'd be you'd be good at something else you don't need to be in a cockpit what you have to know, many of these pilots talking online are, are nice people, genuine. They are actually telling you what they really do feel and think. And, and they're, they're not wrong in a certain way because it is true to fly an airplane. You don't need math. Yes, obviously, I'm, I've never done an equation while, while flying. Yeah, obviously, the aircraft is doing it for me. Do you get me? And the more it's going and the more it is true. I know the, the more time passes and the more it, it is true. But, but uh, you need to go through the filter. So they're telling you that. Genuinely, it's correct. Some of them are working for promoting pilot schools, private pilot schools to make you pay. And here we reach something. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Going paying $100,000 for 100,000 euros for a pilot school. Okay. Okay. First of all, you are not selected based on your knowledge, on your abilities, on your capabilities, on what you can do, what you can bring. No, you're selected on your money. So someone that doesn't have the money cannot go, but you can go. And that's not fair. That's not fair. Because if it was selection based on knowledge, you would not go. But you, you have the possibility to learn and work and study and go. 
you will have this but you you have this chance to do it and the other one who doesn't have the money have the chance to do it as well do you understand where when it comes to money it's either you have or you don't and if you don't you have to work and work hard and many years and so on and and you will change your your you you will not even want to do it after or you will want to but you know do you get me so you pay 100,000 euros for a pilot school, then you go to an airline, a company. And today is more and more, more and more of them are asking for 50K, $50,000, 50,000 euros to start. To do what? 15,000 for a type rating, more or less. 35,000 for a type rating, a uh, line training of what? 300 hours, 300 hours. So you have to know before COVID, 300 hours of flying in a jet aircraft will not bring you to any company very very few companies will recruit you with that it's a minimum of a minimum of a minimum of 500 hours so the the airlines doing that they know what they're doing they are making you do 300 hours for 50,000 euros with a type rating and then you have to do another 300 hours to reach to pass the 500 hours mark do you get me and then you will pay another 50,000 or I don't know 30,000 at the end you paid you paid 80,000 to do 600 hours so basically you paid approximately I've done it I've done it, I've done the, the the calculation you've done you, you've paid approximately 200 or a little bit more euros 200 euros per 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 flight it's more than the passengers how do you pay to work this is not normal and what and what today? What have we reached? What, what I'm telling you, by the way, is is just um, a part of, of my research. I've told you I'm doing a research about pay to fly, and it, in fact, it's a report to the com to the European Commission that I'll be submitting to the European Commission with my laboratory. Uh, the thing is, listen to me. Today, many companies, many many companies, refuse to hire experienced, qualified pilots. They refuse. They don't want. They don't. They don't want it anymore. Why? Why would they recruit someone? Pay him. He'll. He. She will cost. I mean, a, a certain amount. Where you can have a beginner coming and paying you. He can pay you. But which they do. I've seen it. I have a friend. He's a captain. He has eleven thousand hours of flying on three forty, three twenty, three thirty, and so on. Very experienced guy. He came from a major airline. He was made redundant due to COVID. He went to that low cost and he passed an interview. There were five pilots, four professionals, you know, experienced. He was the most experienced one actually, and one beginner, one beginner, one beginner with like hundred and eighty hours, eighty PL, CPL, and so on. Guess what? None of them were hired except the beginner. Why? 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 I mean, do, does a company with with three twenties need really need um, uh, uh, a beginner? They need a professional guy. They have a professional. Why don't they take the professional? Because he will not pay. He doesn't need a type rating. He doesn't need a line training. He will just cost them money. Where they have someone to pay them. They have someone to pay them. This is incredible. It's 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 a. It's a passenger for two years, three years. It's a passenger. It's an everyday passenger who is paying for, for three years, three years. So we started far. Eh? We started by saying, you don't need to be good in math. And we arrived to a whole corrupt system, a whole corrupt industry, a parallel industry to the normal industry. And more and more companies are refusing, are refusing uh, um, to, to, to now pay for type ratings. They, before they used to bond you, now they, they don't, they make you pay. I have friends in the major airlines. They brought them, they told them, uh, guys, come here, and they are second officers. They told them, okay, now new contract. Now go ahead, you sign new contract, you owe us money now. From now on, you owe us 40,000 euros. Well, but I didn't sign for this. Yeah, but it's this or you go, you go elsewhere and you will pay this amount anywhere else. But I've started my training. It doesn't matter. Now you owe us money. So yes, in fact, my friend, you don't need math to fly an airplane, but you need math to prevent all this corruption. And you need math to bring the right person to the cockpit who deserves to be there. And the other person who doesn't deserve to be there to go elsewhere where he'll deserve to be. But what I want you to, 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 to understand is the consequences of what we say.